welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the double boss scarf. So you will need a choice of your yarn. Two, two bundles for me is sufficient. And you will need a knitting wheel, a hook, scissors, and a needle. So now let's get started. So first you'll make a slip knot. Like you could do it like this. So I made my slip knot. I'm going to just put it on the anchor peg like this and it'll just tighten it. There. Now you're going to do it 20 pegs. One, two, three, four. So I've did four pegs now. So now I have knit 20 pegs. So now we're gonna do the same thing all the way back from the peg we started. For the last peg, you're just gonna knit it like that. There. Now I'm gonna start the double moss pattern. First you wrap knit two, like one. And, but now you're gonna purl two, and I'm gonna show you how you do that. First, you take the hook inside, take the new string out, take the old loop off, put the new loop in. Do that two times. I did two times, and you do wrap knit twice again. So the pattern is wrap knit two, purl two. Now I'm gonna knit the last peg. There, so now you have did perhaps three rounds. Now you could remove this slip knot. This is the tail. Now you come back here. You're gonna do the same pattern all the way back. So I'm halfway through. Of course this is not enough for a, uh, a scarf and you have to do a bit more, so you could just continue. I've almost done my scarf, but if you need to add more yarn, uh, I'm gonna show you how you do that. So first you make a slip knot again, like you did before. Now you have a tail here, so you're just gonna insert the tail. Insert it in the slip knot, instead of the anchor peg. You're just gonna slide it, just like that. Tighten it. Now you're just gonna pull it and then just hide it behind here. You'll, it will just blend in automatically. So then now you just continue knitting. So don't use the tail because the tail, use the working yarn. The tail you don't need anymore. So just leave it like that. Now I'm gonna show you how to bind off. So first you're gonna skip this peg and you're gonna just do a purl one. But instead of putting it back on this loop, you move it to the previous peg and then tighten it. Then you take the bottom loop over, then move it to the next peg again, like this. You could just tighten it a bit. So this time now you're gonna wrap knit this one. You're gonna move it to this. You're gonna move it here. And then you're gonna put this one on top. I'm gonna put the bottom loop over and move it to the, the next peg. And now you're gonna purl one. I'm gonna just purl one. Don't put it on this peg. So when you come to the last two pegs, you knit one, you knit this one. Keep it to the next one, previous one. And now take the bottom loop over the top loop. And once again, you're just gonna knit this one. You're just gonna cut. Take the loop off. 
Now you're just gonna pull through and then just tighten it there. Take the, wow, now you've got your scarf. But you've got, maybe you've got some tail and you're just gonna get rid of them. So first what you're gonna do, uh, what I usually do is just I tie it first. I just make a, t uh, a knot first. Just gonna tie one more knot. Take it off. There. So I've did a knot. Now I'm gonna blend it in the scarf. So now you're gonna just bind off like that. You're just gonna blend it in the black, black. Now you're just, you could just, and then finally you can just cut it. There, now you're just gonna do that same to the other tails. So now, if you want, I'm, I'm done uh, weaving the tails inside the scarf. So now to make a ridge, you will need a crochet hook and some scissors to trim it off. We've got a little bit of yarn to make the ridge and I'm just gonna measure it by the, by the width of the scarf, I'm gonna double it. So this is the width of my scarf. I'm just gonna hold it here, double it like that. So I'm now just gonna trim it off. It, it fits right on the crochet hook. So you're just gonna insert your crochet hook, and and with your crochet hook, you're gonna grab the yarn, uh, grab the loop, pull it inside like like that. Yep. Now you've got it, and now you're gonna put your needle through that hook. And just now now you're gonna make a, a, a chain so you're gonna take grab both of those yarn and then pull through pull through both and now you're just gonna take those out so now you just made one ridge and now and you're just gonna keep going I've made the scarf with the ridges on both of the sides and I've also chosen this color because it matches with my hat. What I look like with my scarf and hat. So I hope you liked my video. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.